This is the Blockade Pimple Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. And joining me as always, halfway across the world, it's Jared Morgan. Hello, everyone. How are you going? It's a bit of a different lighting condition here at the yeah, moment, isn't we're, it? Yeah, we're doing a little bit... Uh, in my world, it's evening, and Jared's world is mid-afternoon, so yeah. Correct. Yeah, Correct. sun's shining a little bit differently there. That's right. <laughs> the day star is different for us. That it is. What's going on, Jared? Oh, geez. All sorts of things. things. Um, yeah, stuff and things. You know what I love. Right. You know? nothing, I'm, I'm... nothing worth mentioning. Well, there is some stuff worth mentioning in the context of this show, which we'll get to, yeah, we'll get to in that. a few moments. But um, yeah, apart from that, life is good. Just playing lots of pinball tournaments, winning some of them, losing a lot of them. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> it's the usual thing. I am, uh, or I, well, I shouldn't say I'm currently, I have been going through uh resume hell so uh oh no I, well i keep on trying to apply for uh a managerial role at the park and mm. uh you know it requires a resume and i think i have something and then i turn it in and then i don't get a response and then i show it to people um, and they go, well, what you should change is this. And then you change it. And the next time you submit it and you still don't get a response and uh. then you change it again. And then you're sitting there going, am I battling the AI? Am I trying to put in buzzwords Just... that'll make it attract and get me in, you know, so that a human is looking at it, but then are there so many buzzwords that the resume is just complete and utter garbage? <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a balancing act, isn't it? Between a resume that a human can read, but also a resume that gets past the AI recruitment filters. Yeah, and... yeah. And, you know, there's, I mean, it, it's funny too because nobody can agree on if they're actually using AI or not. I mean, my personal opinion is it's freaking Disney. Um, they're using AI. They're a you know, massive corporation. They're going to have yeah, you know, yeah. a thousand resumes dropped off for, the, for this position. They're not going to have human some human looking, looking at, at all every single one of them i just i don't oh, buy they're that. doing they're, they're doing a broad um for sure they're using ai there's there's actually so many ai recruitment tools out there now that they yeah. would be mad not to and it's it is super frustrating for candidates who are trying to go through the process i see similar stories that, that you're telling with all my technical writer colleagues over in um the write the docs area like people going for jobs over in the u.s and sometimes they submit their application and literally five minutes later, they get an automated rejection. Oh. Now, <laughs> no no human has cited that resume that has just gone, AI says no. Yeah. The machines do not want you working for this business. <laughs> and it's so impersonal when really the hiring process itself is a really human-centered thing. And cost-saving in this, in this area and doing it the way that they're doing is really... Uh, it's it's a really bad anti pattern that, yeah. that um, big corporations are using. So I, I feel your the, pain, and I'm sorry. The the, the funny thing is, um, last time this uh, opportunity came up, uh, they made a big point of telling everybody, "Hey, there's a resume workshop that's happening on this date and this date. You know, bring your resume. There's a whole group of people that'll look at it and." you know, tell you how to spruce it up and, you know, do whatever you need to do. And so I didn't go to it because I had better things to do. Um, mm. But other people did go to it. And then after the process went through and they found the people that they were going to interview, uh, feedback got back to the managers and the feedback was, it's really weird. Everybody's resumes were really looked a lot alike. <laughs> Well, what do you expect? You told them what to put in it, right? It's and like... they did exactly what they what you told them to do. Yeah. So, so I, it's it's astounding. It's really kind of uh, strange, strange. But uh, anyway, this I get to go through this process. It seems like you know once every six months, and um, and then I just fret over it. Uh, but I'm now I'm to the point where I don't know what else I could possibly do to it. We're talking splitting hairs now because it's yeah. literally, hey, I don't know what they're looking for. Um, I may mm. be 
I may be on the right path, or I might go, oh, apparently clearly they didn't like that, and go the other way, and then I'm way off the path, so... Yeah. Who knows? You're, you're feeling your way through the dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you really are. Um, yeah. But, anywho, that's uh, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. <laughs> mm. Recruitment hell. Yeah, yep. it's never fun, man. No. Never um, fun. So let's uh, let's just dive right in, folks. L- let me give you a roadmap. Hey, roadmaps, we like those uh, for what this episode's going to look like. Um, as the title says, going to talk about the old uh, Stern Pinball Home Edition of Jurassic Park at my local Costco because uh, I did put hands on it. So we're going to talk about that uh, straight away. Um, after that, uh, Jared has something that uh, he'd like to say that he purchased. And then uh, we're going to do what we call, what are the worst pinball machines the manufacturers actually made? Um, yeah. So that's something, to you're going to want to stick around list. for. Um, not the best list. Once it's not the avoid. best list. This is, this is <laughs> do what were they these. thinking? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were spitballing having a blast, and all of a sudden we were just like, you know what, I bet our audience would have a blast with this too. So that's going to be yeah. at the, uh, the back end of the uh, back half of the, <laughs> the podcast. So stick around for that. But first, yeah. let's talk about Jurassic Park Home Edition at yeah. for sale at Costco. <laughs> Um, which it is must kind have of been describe to me the feeling walking into your Costco and seeing a stone product just on the floor. <laughs> so, there. so the first time that it happened, uh, you know, the Christmas section is up at Costco. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, they've got all the all the toys. Um, yeah, and some of those toys are of the more expensive variety. So yeah. you know, they've got some arcade one up cabinets. They've got a foosball table. Um, you know, it's it's stuff. Of, they've got a, a a cocktail version of Miss Pac-Man from, or I think it was Miss Pac-Man. From, probably was. I don't know from Arcade One Up. Um, you know, mm-hmm. dart boards and I mean, it's just it's those items that will make somebody's eyes light up if that's underneath the Christmas tree. Um, mm. But it's also not anything that you're on a whim just gonna go buy <laughs> you know yeah they're not just like oh i just happen to have that money in the back of my pocket I right think i'll just go and put this on the trolley and run it through the checkout you know yeah yeah because i mean there's not it's not the steep discount that costco does these are pretty much the same price that you would buy it if you bought it online from these companies uh yeah so yeah yeah i'm, I'm pushing my cart and and i see a big giant box that says stern on it and and unlike your typical stern boxes this one is full color <laughs> And has oh, right. Jurassic Park just on the on the outside of the box. Um, yeah, and, you know, it is made up exactly the same as we saw all the RK One Up cabinets. Exactly. Or the yeah, it right. is it's, meant it's for a retail sell. shelf. Um, designed to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder how long this is going to be here for. And then I saw the price, and it was yeah, forty eight for forty nine hundred dollars dollars, I believe. Because <laughs> I think it was okay. I think it was I think it was forty eight ninety forty eight ninety nine US. Yeah. Um, okay so it's just like damn that's and in my mind i i thought well that's definitely not an impulse buy and that Mm -hmm. particular day i saw a guy i i you know went did my shopping and come back around and there's a guy standing in front of it phone to his ear going well yeah but uh, i mean don't you think we should we could get this right (laughs) (laughs) So there was a guy negotiating with the director of finance yes. for permission to purchase this yes. item at Costco. But it's at Costco. It's and, just, you right, know. it's Costco. And, you know, think of the points we'll earn on this. Um, <laughs> yeah. And the thing was, is uh, when I went back a couple of days later, it was gone. So oh, I was like, whoa. So they... someone just went, here's a cool five grand. Somebody purchased Cash it, right? dollars. Here you go. I will take this box away with me. Yeah. Wow. So. That is something else. It was gone for maybe two weeks. Didn't see it. Mm. And then the next time I went in uh, and there was the box again. But now they had one set up for play to try out. Ooh. And I was like, oh, well, okay, okay, here I we go. Not. Let's plunge. I can't not do this. <laughs> I have to do this. Yes. This is, I must. It's my duty. I'm sorry. Mm. And it I spent is. a good 15 minutes bashing around on this thing because I, I, I really wanted to get a feel for it and see mm. um, 
walking by, I mean, it's it's impressive. It's a pinball machine, uh, you know. It's a big, chunky floor take floor real estate taking up thing. Yeah, and the it last time we saw a machine pinball. on the floor, it was the arcade one up. Uh, I think it was the Star Wars cab that yeah. they had set up, which was significantly yeah. smaller. You know, very much a toy. This is not a toy. So this is not a toy. No. Um, yeah, so I went to go go play this thing, and I uh, took some video so that you all could see uh, what it is. Um, you're mm. going to have to forgive the sheer amount of fingerprints that are on the glass. Um, I even rubbed it down with my shirt just to try and help. Um, but it was, like I said, obviously not the Invisiglass <laughs> on this particular model. Not the Invisiglass, and, you know, Costco has samples, and so sticky fingers. Oh, um, crazy finger samples. Well, yeah. <laughs> so really, it's exactly the same as the condition you'd find one in a fish and chip shop or a, a greasy spoon takeaway. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah. Um, so, as usual with our show, uh, no audio. <laughs> but, you know, just, you know... It's okay. It. Let, let me just put it this way. We don't really want the audio anyway because it was playing the Jurassic Park theme and then that would get our video flagged. So Yeah, we'd instantly get flagged. <laughs> I'm willing to go, no thank you. Like, um, but, it's only got one speaker anyhow. So No, it's got two, I think. Oh, does it? I'm pretty sure it does. I think that, I think that other speaker panel is a fake one. I don't know. All I know is it was really loud. Right. Um, oh, was oh, it? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to pause so, right here. Actually, I'm going to reverse. Yeah. You know, I did. I I wasn't even thinking. Mm. Back to the beginning. Okay, translate. Um, that that's what it looks like the entire time. There's no other. It, it's probably just a fluorescent tube behind it. I mean, that's exactly what all the modern stones have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and that is actually, from memory, that is the back the translate from the the stern game with minor adjustments. So. Okay. Okay, um, and then the uh, the DMD screen that is it is tiny. It's the exact same size as what's on my uh, arcade or not my um, at games, four K seven inch. No, it's not seven. It's nine four. or fifteen. Nine. Oh, nine. That's right. I think nine. I know it was single digits. There, from it's it, it it's pretty small. I'm just gonna say mm-hmm. that um, much. Too small for a full size machine, right? Um, like you're squinting at it, trying to see the yeah. information. Uh, we'll get into more of that in a moment. But here, let me just yeah. scroll through here. So, as you can see, oh, yeah. uh, metal ramps, metal habit trails. Um, it you know, looks very pinbally to me. It's pretty like, pinbally. Yeah, We've got the chrome going on. Some stand-up targets there, yeah. Yeah, stand-ups. You got some uh, drop targets back there. A T-Rex that Ooh, does spit out targets. a ball. Um, yeah, that's cool. Little turnaround path there. You got a raptor trap there to the uh, right. Whoops. Yep. Um, yeah. Oh, look! It looks. I mean, the fact that it's got middle ramps. Yeah. It's that's pretty premium feeling. I no, it say. does. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I it, it wasn't like it was a heaps of plastic on there or anything. Mm. Um, yeah, the metal ramps were nice, and uh, the habit trails. Uh, yeah. The the when you launch the ball, ball goes around to the top and then goes into drop targets or not drop targets, uh, 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 in lanes on the top. Yeah, but then if you shoot the orbit from the left, it goes up and it jumps. Around there's a gap in the in oh. there, and I'll have I have a, a image of that a little bit that you'll be able to see what I'm talking about that. Um, okay. But so just kind of a cool feature that you know jump in the ball that's that's cool. Yeah, like I said, the the T cool. Rex uh, toy. It's three drop targets. You knock the drop targets down. You shoot into the T Rex. You lock the ball. Lock three right. balls, okay. uh, and then T Rex will spit ball out at you. For a oh, two so ball, it comes out the T Rex's mouth. Comes out the T Rex's mouth. Uh, for oh, a that's cool. Two ball, multi ball, just two. Okay, so you lock one, and then you lock the other one, and then you're in two ball, multi ball. Well, it, it, you shoot them three times. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. So it actually has a way of locking two balls in that thing. 
Well, no, I don't think it actually. I think it just is counting them. <laughs> oh, it's virtual locks. I think so it's it'll virtual locks. lock one and spit it back out at you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Virtual yeah. locks is, is um, fine. Flippers feel like Stern. The uh, pop bumpers feel like Stern because they are. They're those. Those are actual genuine. Everything is Stern. Com- I mean, but it's, I mean, it's it's the commercial grade what they're using. Um, mm. It's not like it's a you know cheesed down scaled down version. home version yes. or whatever. No. Yeah. Um, you know, plunger feels fine. Like I said, the volume was loud. It was mm. you know what you want on a Jurassic Park table. I, I mean. At least that's what I would want on a Jurassic Park table is something nice and loud and boomy. Um, so, no, I mean, it, it felt just fine. Um, it has a mm. coin door. I don't know for sure if that's if it's legit. Like, I don't know if you can set this up to take coins or not. Um, oh, no. Nah. No It way. was in free play mode. Was it? It was in free play, but like I said, it it looked like a legit coin door to me. Um, that's really odd. Normally they have like a plastic fake one on those ones. Yeah. No, I mean, I even pushed, you could like the button pushes push the in. buttons and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty rad. So uh, next up, what I'm going to show you is uh, I tried to play, <laughs> I tried to play with uh, one hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> the classic. I'm going to record pinball footage. Yeah, yeah. That's um, not the um, yeah, yeah. not the best idea, uh, but it, well, it, it's hard. It's what you know, I tried. To do it you like know that. what I mean? Um, you got to give it a go. I mean, what else are you going to do? You didn't bring your tripod with you. No. So. Again, I had no idea it was going to be there. Um, did I go back on another day and play it some more? Of course, I did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, naturally, you know. It was all in the name of of uh, our show, you know. Well, you know, it's it's pinball in your area. Yeah. Right? Which, which is pretty damn rare. Oh, well, it's even got Insider Connected. Yes. Oh, yeah. It does have Insider Connected on it. Wow. Um, right. So this is... That's pretty good. This is a uh, like, little play. You can see all those fingerprints. So there you go. Oh, the man. ball goes into the... Uh, and that's a skill shot that you can do at the air. Yeah. Um. Callouts are, are all original voices. It's not from the movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, well, it's relatively level as well, which is interesting. I know, right? Considering yeah, it was up on unusual. a... Uh, considering it was up on a pallet. <laughs> oh, and yeah, no way I could. Good. And now it's gone. No. Nah. <laughs> you know, if the funny thing is we actually did this um, novelty tournament mode where we had to play with one hand and we had yeah. to like switch like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was really hard. Yeah, really yeah, hard. It was difficult. Um, I know I've done a tournament where it was one person on each flipper. Yeah, split flip is great. I love yeah. it. It's one of my favorite ways of playing pinball, actually. Okay, so having had a bunch of games on it, this is where the uh, the warts start coming out. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, there is no mode. Uh, start. It, oh. It's not one of those tables. So what it is, is each ramp, each shot. Uh, the idea is that the volcano is exploding on Isla Nublar, and you're trying to rescue the animals. And so right. if you shoot the shot, was it three or four times? I'm not sure. Animal rescued. Um, there's also... Uh, and and that's it's indicated by... Um, an insert light. Also, right. there's another insert that'll be a picture of a of a person, and sometimes the person needs rescuing. Uh, I believe once you've rescued all the animals and you've rescued all the people, that starts its wizard mode. I don't know. I didn't get that far, um, so I never saw what mm. the that was. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, right. The multi ball. Once you start it, it's not like it goes into a specific multi-ball, you know, music changes, lights change, you know, what you're supposed to shoot changes. No, you're still rescuing animals, but now you're scoring a jackpot when you hit their ramp. But oh. it's not like it's... I, I like. It. I was kind of surprised that there was no noticeable difference 
uh, happening. It's just lights were lit for jackpot. And that's Basically. Um, and it's like, it wasn't even when I hit the jackpot, it wasn't like a super loud jackpot sounded. It was more like a muffled jackpot. And and then oh. you look at the you look at the the score screen. There is very little going on there. It's uh, really um okay. It's not quite magic pixel bad <laughs> for their mm. you know their DMD, but the pin. Uh, Zen is definitely doing a much better job than this right. is. Uh, the the animation or the the video that they have it's like really simple. Well, it's a velociraptor jumping or whatever kind of thing. Trying to like you would think the score would be huge. No, it's kind yeah. of small because um, it's trying to pack a little bit of information. But like once you start a mode or or you're you're starting to rescue a particular. Dinosaur. It's not like that information is up on the screen. Um, I was looking. It's not. It just, it's reactive. It's what you would call a reactive display rather than a guiding display. It's interesting, you know, because we we played a mode where we were playing Jaws, standing behind the back box and okay. playing down. It was a novelty one, and somebody made a point of saying there's so much information conveyed on the DMD now mm -hmm. from these sterns that if you don't have vision on it, it's actually really hard to work out what to do in the game. Yeah. Like really hard at the moment. And it was a really telling point actually that remember where the old designers were going, well, the gameplay is on the table and now it's a lot on the video display. Like, yeah. It's uh, very interesting. Which yeah. is one of the problems that I have with uh jersey jack uh, that the, there's so much yeah. going on it's not it's like their screen will be divided into four segments and i'm like i don't know what segment i need to look at to give me the you know i'm gonna spend all my time cradling a ball trying to read what i need to know yeah with the instructions yeah yeah, yeah. because um, i mean the lights on jersey jack like as an aside they then i mean everything's lit yeah it's just how how lit are the lights <laughs> it's what it is <laughs> So yeah, um, anyhow. Anyhow. So the, the okay. video display is not really value adding at all. Not value adding at all. Um it it mm. in my opinion it completely cheapens the thing. The game. I, I honestly yeah. would have rather had uh a basic DMD than Oh really? Yeah. 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 At least the DMD would have classed it up a little bit. Um uh, this just yeah. feels this feels cheap. That's it really yeah right. That's what it is. So that got me then looking closer at the table. Um, mm -hmm. So again, forgive all the fingerprints, but I tried to uh, to spot something here. I'm gonna let Jared. I'm gonna just play this and you tell me what you see, and then I'm gonna tell you what I was uh, focusing on. Yeah, okay. myself. Uh, that's a thin wire form instead of a lane guide. Oh, on both sides. So there's no playfield wall on this table in the areas that actually need it. How interesting. Uh, not sure what you're getting at there. It that's the like jump. There's... Oh, that's the jump. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. So, I don't know how much stood out to you there, but here, I'll walk you through. The thing that I most noticed, there's not an ounce of wood showing. And oh. I, I was shocked at the lack of reflection on the play field itself. Right. And I was like, is there even clear coat on this? I don't know. And then I started looking closer. Oh. I think this entire play field is a vinyl overlay. Really? So right there, what I was kind of looking at is normally I feel like if you were painting, you wouldn't paint in an area that the ball is never going to touch. 
on I mean I don't know how it is on more, on modern play fields, but I don't know. It, it just I started looking at it and I was just like, that's not printing. Like it's not a screen print on this play field. Yeah. It looks like it's a sticker, a vinyl overlay. Um, and I don't know for a fact if it is, which is why then when I focus over on the other side of things, so that little yellow and black tab is yeah. raised. It's actually like it is a sticker. Oh, um, okay. It's almost like a sandpaper. Uh, it, it looks like a sandpaper thing. Whatever. Yeah. But now, so look at the uh, look at the rollover there and the black oh, yeah. edge. Yep. Tell me that doesn't look like it's a sticker. It does. And it also looks raised already. Yes. Like, it looks like it's coming away already from the edge. Right. So I honestly don't believe that this thing is clear-coded. And, I don't think it is either. And, I mean, it's a home play, so obviously it's not going to, you know, they're not expecting it to have the abuse that, uh, you know, if it was out in the wild. But on the other hand, that stuff's going to wear and peel. If you get a family playing this thing, if right. you get, like, a, a family who's into it, they're going to, like... And I'll, I'll tell you now, the ball quality in Stearns is rubbish. <laughs> like, they, they're the first thing that you swap out of the Stern table when you buy one. Right. And you put ninja balls in it. Um, but, like, yeah, I mean, look at that. It, it, oh, no, it, I think it was just an optical illusion. I don't think it was sticking up. I think okay. it was the rail reflecting it. Now, look at those lights. Here. They're just on, off, on, off, on, off. There's no yeah. interesting pattern. Uh, so this Isn't... here, that's the jump at the back. Oh, yeah. Which is cool and all, but then again, it got me thinking, how many times, what happens when that ball drops from that jump and does a hard impact back there? Well... You're going to yeah, have some true. serious wear. <laughs> Same thing at the pop bumper area. You're going to have some serious oh, air. Some wear. Unless they put, like, a play field protector in that area. They haven't. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if it's just they have done a clear coat, but it's not the same sort of clear coat as we're thinking. But, I mean, again, like, there's, like, no reflection. It is... The reflection you see is off the glass, not off the play field. So it's like it's matte. Yeah. Like the... huh. Yeah, it just has a very matte finish to it. Um, that right. Raptor pen right there, which where you see that lightning bolt in, Yeah. that's very interesting because it goes... Um, your ball goes in there, kind of bounces around, uh, but it can also bounce into the shooter lane, and then you can shoot again. Oh. So is it like a pass? At least I think it does right. that. That or it's that, or it's that orbit. If you don't hit the orbit hard enough, it can go. I there's a couple of times where the ball went back into the shooter lane. Huh. Um, what does the text say? It says. Well, good luck. <laughs> something uh, says, in the raptor pit shoot, for raptor. Shoot the raptor pen for raptor hunt. Okay. So there's got to be a target in there. Is there a target up where the um the lightning? insert is or something yeah i'm not sure it looks where like it a is. really odd angle like because it's it'd be a late shot on the flipper to get yes. in there yes and it looks like yeah okay it's a weird one eh? yeah there is a spinner on there though i would note like uh there is a spinner a sp yes there is yeah. a spinner it's, like i said there's so actually it's got you know, all the pinball tropes <laughs> it's got hmm. things that you know stern likes to charge for their i was gonna say premium like, editions it, <laughs> it like you know on this on this like type of game like i was i would be it would be perfectly reasonable to see plastic form ramps vacuum yeah. form ramps on this yeah and they've gone with metal yeah so they S don't have a clear coat so <laughs> i'm sitting there i'm analyzing this thing i'm looking at it and i'm just like going in my head i'm like there's no way this is worth this much money it's just no no it's not worth this much money you can for the for that same price you can get two reasonable you know late 80s pins not you're not going to get a dmd but you're going to get an alphanumeric no. and it's going to have a heck of a lot more mode it's going to have a heck of a lot more uh gameplay to it it's going to um, have a three ball multi ball don't, sure. it's going to have all sorts of things it's going to be built better mm. uh built to last 
because it had lasted. You know, so I'm, I'm like running through all these things in my head. Um, and as I'm thinking about that, this guy walks up, a little bit older than me, not much. And mm. he's kind of tentatively looking at it. And he goes and he, he pulls the plunger and nothing happens because, you know, he's like, mm, kind of, you know, oh, okay. And I was just like, oh, you got to push the start button. What? Oh, oh okay. So he pushes the start button and then the whole thing. So he's like, whoa, oh, okay. And he's looking at it. And he's like, what, what do you think of it? And I go, I mean, it's fun to bash around on, but I go, it's not worth the price. Oh, why is that? Is it not commercial grade stuff? And I go, no, you know, there's plenty of, and I start pointing out all the, the positives on it and everything. Um, and, and he goes, oh, well, you know, yeah, I, you know, when I was a kid, I used to, oh, you're much too young to know about this, but there was a table called Captain Fantastic. I go, no, I know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and he's like, yeah, I had a lot. Guy, it's just bringing back nostalgia, and and I had a lot of fun playing with those. And so then he's back to you know staring at it, and that's when it hit me. Mm. I was like, this guy wouldn't have a clue where to buy a secondhand pin. He probably yeah, wouldn't know right. where to buy a brand new stern, for that matter. He no, certainly is not no. going to know how to repair one or how to do maintenance on one. Mm-hmm. But you could go to Costco, purchase this thing from Stern. It's going to have a warranty. It's modern. So if anything does go wrong, you're probably going to be able to find something. You know, they're going to have parts or whatever to get it back up and running. And for somebody that is just purely looking for that nostalgia kick and itch to throw into their game room, yeah, it's actually going to fit yeah. the bill. Um, you've, you've hit the target market right on yeah. the head. Right. Yeah. And as for the price... Yeah. Again, I went twenty five hundred just because I'm like, look, you know, parts, they're not cheap these days. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow for that. But uh But even three, like three grand US. Yeah. You know. Eh. I mean the thing of it yeah. is, and, and of course in my mind, I'm thinking it's not gonna retain its value. It's Oh, no one's if you try and sell this on any serious pinball market. They're gonna turn around and laugh at you. You're right. right? I mean, it's, it's 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 Fireball Home Edition all over again. <laughs> oh, it totally is. Yeah. You like, know, it, this is like something you would only be able to sell on Facebook Marketplace as right. a, uh, you know, a, a, I don't know, a home use, well, is what it is. It's a home use pinball machine. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. But again, for somebody that's not thinking collector, is just thinking cool toy to have in my you know, in my game room and you mean you know, for when people come over and play it going do you mean I can own a stern pinball for five grand? I don't think the guy okay. even know but that's what I'm saying. I don't think the guy Stern, who's doesn't that know the prestige. Doesn't he, know he, he, doesn't know the name. Yeah. He <laughs> He's goes, just oh, merely going, machine. Oh, this must be what these sell for these days. Yeah. You would have no clue that for fifteen hundred dollars more he can get a Jurassic Park Pro a edition. Pro Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> would have no Everything. idea. <laughs> No, wouldn't know and probably wouldn't care because that's probably one and a half grand too much over their budget. Like right. six six and a half grand is like That's a big ask. Ooh, that's that's a too big ask. That's but, too know. yeah. Yeah. So I that's why it was is very interesting because I think for you know us, the pinball fanatics, and for those that collect, this is a big nope. For those right. that have no clue and are shocked to see a pinball machine out in the wild that you can purchase. That you can buy off the shelf, literally yeah. put it in the back of your car and yeah. take it away with you. Amazing. Now, the, my right. question is, hmm. what is Costco going to do with the floor model? Are they going to sell it to their employees? I'm sure they're going to give them first crack. And, and I just oh. want to know how much they're going to ask for it. After it's been on the table, Pounded slammed away. <laughs> at Costco. And, like, and left in... Like left in active game mode, standing by for eight hours a day with no one plunging it. Yeah. Like you know, some kid walks up to it, presses start, walks away. The game's on for like. Oh, every time you know, I walk up to it, it's got four, uh, four player. Going. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it'll just be sitting there, in standby mode, everything energized. Yeah. Uh, you know, this thing is like. It's like one of those showroom fridges, right? That you see <laughs> on, on the floor. It's like, oh yeah, it's cheap. But then you get it home and then the thermostat goes in it because, you know, it's been running for like the last year. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, man. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I reckon they. I'm very they curious. Flick it for about four. I reckon. I reckon they. They do a floor model for about four. And for how you know, much? You think about the other stuff you see. Four grand. Oh, I think that's way too much for it. Do you reckon? You reckon they go lower than that as a floor model? I do. Yeah. I I have three. Th- I th- I'm thinking. I'm thinking three, two and a half, three. Would you buy it for that? No. <laughs> no. If 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 they said a thousand, I might. Hmm. But I know there's they're no not. way they. There's no way. There's no way they do. No. Like the like the cost of the bill of materials and that thing will be at least two grand. Like yeah, that's a cost of what Stern yeah. would be paying to make yeah. it easily. So. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it got me, you know, like I said, I was thinking about, well, what what two tables could you buy for the same price? Um, and then Jared goes and drops something on me. Well, uh, I, I kind of did just buy two tables for that price. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, ex- I, I have expanded the pinball collection downstairs to include some bellies um, and some 80s bellies, namely um, Pocorino and lost world belly's lost world um and both are of that sort of you know uh both are 1979 and pokerino is well it's basically a square pinball machine <laughs> it's a square um, machine it's <laughs> very much like um very much like paragon and future spa and all those super wide bellies um and it's all poker themed it's got very odd um, back glass with like po- poker playing cards with sexy legs on them. So <laughs> go figure. Um, and it's it's all it, the biggest weirdest thing about this game is it's double scissor flippers. So yeah. if you're not aware of scissor flippers, they're the ones that both of them open up at the same time, and your ball can go between them. And I hate whenever that. you're at a pinball tournament and you hear someone go, "Oh, I just got scissored," that's exactly <laughs> what they uh, have. have got done so it's really it's going to be an interesting game to play i haven't got either of them yet because they're on their way to me now did, did um, these come world... from a container ship coming from africa also these are not from the plains of africa <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are actually i think locally delivered games okay um so they are literally turn them on and play them oh, they are go. flipping and working um and in reasonable condition the the lost world back glass uh is trashed and really badly flaking it will need to be replaced there's no saving it um but i've found a place that will actually do reproduction back glasses for a lot of these games and i'm just going to go and go down that route oh, there you go. and get one um but yeah two pinball machines for five grand that's uh i can't say no to that like that's <laughs> that's too good and these ones are different enough that I think they should be quite fun to play. Lost World is one of those games that has two two sources that you can shoot the ball into. So oh, okay. it'll be a good a good candidate for stall ball um, gameplay modes at tournaments for novelty rounds and stuff. And it's very like it's you would argue there's not a lot going on with um, Lost World, but it's I think that simplicity is going to make it something that players will really like to just shoot around on. And they'll just they'll know what to go for, and they'll just blow it up and have a really good time getting high scores on it. So I feel like yeah. uh, these two editions. I had to look them up because I didn't. I wasn't immediately familiar, with, especially not with Pokerino. Mm. Um, no, but I feel like they will fit very nicely uh, with the machines you already have in terms of play style. Mm. Um, they will. Yeah. Yeah. No, and they I think they will fit quite nicely with those. Um the there will be a six pinball collection now, which is as many as I can fit on that wall without having to well, yeah, as many as I can fit on that wall really. I can't really put any more in. And I I think I might have to think about getting rid of one of them and the one that I will be looking at selling would be Star Race. Um because my machines are used predominantly for tournaments and I offer them up as for as tribute for yeah. all the tournaments, um, I want them to be easy to move and easy to manage in a truck. And the the Star Race is the odd one out there 
because it's big, it's wide, it's heavy. Um, and while it's a really fun game to play, it is the rules are simple on it. Okay. Like really, you, you just need to get the, the two center top lanes and then just hit the drop type bank and your points are there. That's all you got to do. Um, fun. It's fun to get there and it's hard to do that. But once you've done it, you've done it. I was um, going to say, you know, so, with, with six tables, the, all you really need is uh, uh, two people to bring a machine over and you've got a home tournament. Yes, <laughs> I actually, I actually do like, and you know, I've seen, I've, I've seen, and tell me I shouldn't Chris, but I've seen a, a Gottlieb premier Stargate floating around. I, and I know I, you've, you've talked about it. I, I'm not impressed by that table. If you had, like, okay, this brings us into the next segment. It does. Nicely, right? <laughs> it does. Because we, you know, I would, if I had to say, if I walked up to a row of Gottlieb Premier machines, like every single one released, yeah. I would I'd absolutely be sad. put a buck. <laughs> You'd be sad. <laughs> I'd be like, God damn you. it. They've got a ton of like, pinball what, machines. What, they're all like, freaking Premier. Ah, oh, where's victory? Yeah. I'll just go bash on that for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking about DMD Gottlieb Premier. Yeah, like, and if you had to walk up to one of those, <laughs> which one would you pick? I would absolutely pick Star Stargate. It's fun. Um, it's got the 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 glider that pops out of the thing and swings around. It looks really dorky. And I just the... remember it as being a very cramped table. There's a lot in it. Like it's jammed for a for a standard width pinball machine. It's packed full of stuff. Yeah. Like, and it's like the thing is that if you walk up and look at it, it looks unimpressive. When you start playing it, it's a surprisingly deep game for a Gottlieb Premier. Yeah. Um, and it's it's got a lot going for it. It's got by far the steepest ramps I've ever seen in a pinball machine to date. Like they are vertical like this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only the, the Gottlieb flipper makes it will get the ball up there. Like it's, they are mountains. I don't know, Jared. I and, think that... Um... Once you, once you get these ballys into your house, uh, you're gonna go. You're gonna be like, yeah, okay, I see the difference between these and the Gottlieb. I mean, you've got the Gottlieb tanks oh, yeah. right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I would hate that your first DMD would be another Gottlieb. I think um, I think you gotta set your sights for something a little bit Williams, a little bit Bally. <laughs> you know, I was I was very close because it was at a ridiculously cheap price i was very close to trolling everyone at bpac and buying a popeye saves the earth <laughs> <laughs> just putting that in the competition just go <laughs> <"Eat> that. <laughs> all right well yeah. hey here's what we're gonna do we're going to because uh, this is starting to get into this territory uh we're gonna oh, yeah. discuss what we feel are um the worst pinball machines by every manufacturer uh our caveat was I believe our cutoff date was 1985. We weren't going to go before mm. that um, because you're opening up a can of worms if you go. And hopefully, I believe everything that I nominated, uh, I have played at least once. Um, mm. I don't. I don't know that Jared has that same. But uh, you know, we looked at pictures and stuff, and we're going to provide some photos of our uh, of our finalists. But Jared, do me a favor. We're going to start yeah. with we're going to start with Bally. We're just going to go in alphabetical order here. We're going to start with Bally. All we'll right. Start with Bally. So what what are our candidates for Bally? All right. So we we got um, one 1980s pin and a few from 1990s. So we'll start at the top, and we'll go with Lady Luck. Lady Luck. So that is one of those Bally 6803 uh, era machines. Yes. Yep. It's uh, George Christian was the designer on it. Um, so, and then we, we move swiftly. Well, we um, can do to... the entire, we can do the entire list of what we have too. Just we so will. We... Okay, great. We'll, we'll do, I'll list them off. I'll rattle them off. Okay. And that way you know what we're, yes. what we're dealing with. So we got Lady Luck. We got Bugs Bunny's Birthday Ball. Gilligan's Island, Popeye Saves the Earth, and Who Done It. I, so I put Who Done It on there. 
just so you all know, you can hate me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really don't like that table. <laughs> okay, so as a, a very quick aside, yeah. our who done it at that novelty tournament mm -hmm. had you had to flip it by hanging up two old school telephones. <laughs> they were your flippers. <laughs> it was the best. It was so good. The only way you should play who done it. I, I might add. Um so uh okay. So which ones did you and I um, pick out of these? Right, oh. so I, we picked uh, two, and I think we'll come to a consensus as to which one we think is the worst. Uh, so first mm. off, we have Bugs Bunny Birthday Bash, a hideously ugly machine. That play field is just like vomit with some of its... You know where it says Looney and Tunes? That plastic is just... It's Zachariah oh, yeah. bad. Um, it is the worst looking blow mold oh, I've seen. It's like, terrible. It just... um, the insert for Bugs's eyes, he always just looks demonic when they're not lit and when they are lit. <laughs> it just... It, and Yeah. Um, it, the... I mean, you can see this is the game that actually introduced the concept of carrot flippers. Yeah. Because as you can see... <laughs> the flippers are carrots. Yeah. And that's what those ribbed flippers are that you see in this era. And that's where they get their name from. This um, game. I, I'm assuming that that's Lola Bunny area. up there. I don't know. But I'm like, when was she even in a cartoon? Why are we throwing her in? Mm -hmm. And then having, you know, just tiny, tiny Daffy and Sylvester and Yosemite Sam. I don't know. There's like, there's so many bad choices. Um, You've never played this, have you, Jared? I've never played it, but okay. look at that left that left play field it's, is like it's a sunken play field and you spend an inordinate amount of time in it. Oh really? It's like you literally are like, oh crap, I just put the ball in there again. <laughs> it's just right. it it's very Johnny Blaze, isn't it? From oh. um, uh from Ghost Rider in Zen. Like that yeah. reverse play field is yeah. exactly what that it's, is. It's it's terrible. Who's our designer of this table, Jared? Okay, so Bugs Bunny, uh, you get to blame John Trudeau for this one. There you go. Uh, which is, like, surprising, because John has made some nice pinball machines, and this is not one of this them. This is garbage. It's really garbage. Hot and trash. I, and I, the thing is, is I always, I always play it when I see it, just to go, wait, is this really as bad as I remember? And then within one yeah. ball, I'm like, yep, it is. Um, yes. Okay, our, is our next beautiful. ballet candidate that we both agreed on, Lady Luck. So I'm gonna Lady we're gonna come back Luck. to that bat glass, but um, yeah. look at this playfield. Look at this. What what year is this? Oh, this Lady Luck is a '86. '86. As you can see, it's everything about '86. What, it but is about it, as 86 well, the look is '86, but the design of the the layout is 1977. Um. <laughs> It's almost like they've gone and taken a 1977 design and then gone, uh, let, let's put some more controlled lamps in it, I guess, and what? make it a poker theme <laughs> table. So I do know that these 6803 models uh, or era of Bally, it was them in cost saving mode. They were. Uh, it was one of those eras, was it? It was like every machine that they produced in those, it was literally, we're saving money wherever we can um this is very evident now interestingly the same era does try some interesting playfield design um yeah there are some interesting playfields but this one is not one of them this is just no so boring looking and it, i mean it could be an em easily it could be yeah um but yeah, yeah okay so now back to that back to that artwork 80s yeah, let's, style, let's yeah. Look dwell. at those. Look at those. Uh, those um, uh, uh, slingshot covers, just triangles and confetti. That's 80s right there. That's 80s. <laughs> and the look at the, the the lines on either side of the card mm -hmm. and things. That oh yeah, mm -hmm. like it's it's as good as a pinstripe suit on TV, isn't it? <laughs> which it then really brings is. me back to this back glass, <laughs> which is like straight off a Duran Duran cover. Um, it it's really that is. Nagel it's... art. Uh, oh, it is amazing. It, it it really does just date the hell out of this. Um, yep. I mean, that being said, we've got a table coming up 
that I would take this back glass over. And, oh. and, and, and no, 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 it's not the one you're thinking of, Jared. No, it's oh. the one with, with more sexy ladies, if you will. Uh, I would take right. this right. actually has class, if you will, compared to the other one that we're going to talk about. So, anywho, right. yes. Okay, yes. so those there are... Some which, redeeming factors of that. Yes. So, of these two, yeah. of Lady Luck or Bugs Bunny, which one are we voting as the worst for Bally? Oh... I know where my vote goes. Oh, look. It's so close. But I think from a gameplay perspective, I actually think Lady Luck would probably be more fun to play than Bugs Bunny. It is. <laughs> <laughs> because at least Lady Luck, you got some drop targets and yeah. you can get a little bit of flow it's going. Spinners. You know, it's you got a, a little a upper layout. flipper. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, it's, it's looking good. whereas bugs, I'm not kidding you. You get into that lower play field and you're just like cursing. <laughs> it's like not here again. It's literally that ramp, isn't it? That ramp mm-hmm. gives you entry. Oh. So you get one ramp and then you always end up in there. Yeah, and then there's that ramp on the on the front left that you gets you back out that you have to hit to get back out. Gross. Yes. It's yeah, gross. that's gross. Okay. Mm. Um okay, what's next alphabetically? Yeah, what category are we going to do next, Chris? We've got some... Um... Well, uh, okay, so I believe Data East would be next, Ooh, if i Data East. It's a good selection. There's a bit more in this selection than we had for yes. um, Belly. I'll rattle these off for you. Yeah. So we've got Monday Night Football, which is 1989. Robocop, <laughs> also 1989. Back to the Future, just snuck into the 90s, as did The Simpsons. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, was 91, Hook 92, Lethal Weapon 3, 92 also, and rounding up the end is Royal Rumble, 1994. How, how many so of those have been played? A in there, I've got to say. Yeah. Mm. The, I mean, Data East was, they were hit and miss. I don't know. They that, were, they really were hit and miss. I can't yeah. really say that there is a data east that I'm like, yes, except for when I see Guns N' Roses. That one, I'm like, cool, I want to play that one. Um, That's a great data east. But really most great. of them are, I think, Jared, you're the one that told me that you recognize this. They're, they're one ramp wonders. That's all you're shooting. Yeah, like cool. two ramps, a, a popper, like an up kicker, yeah. and some gimmicky feature two yeah. ramps a popper and a feature that's the gameplay they were literally all about the noise but i know that whenever i put mm. my hands on them they felt cheap they just they flipping them particularly didn't, that flipping narrow, never that felt good spongy flippers always. yeah 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 uh, just the quality the, you could just see the quality on the table was not in the same league as a belly or a williams so when they switch from the narrow DMDs to the regular size DMTs. So mm-hmm. off that list, we're talking about um, Lethal Weapon 3 and Royal Rumble. Yeah. Um, that's when things started to feel better. But those, the, like everything from Hook down there that had a, um, a narrow DMD, they just were not great. So all. let's... Uh, wait, did we... Did I miss one or was that one? No, that one's a stern. Never mind. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look. Uh, here's this is Lethal Weapon Three. Now, yeah, I might be wrong on this one. Um, I just remember when I played it, I was very disappointed. Um, mm-hmm. To me, it's a loud, obnoxious table in the same vein as uh, Last Action Hero. Yeah, but if I had to play this in Last Action Hero, it'd be Last Action Hero all day. Probably, because I don't no. think this captured the movie very well. I think that's what my probably my biggest issue was. Um, uh, and I think yeah. it was very Joe Pesci. I, mean, I can't remember if there's like just too many Joe Pesci call-outs on this oh, there's or not. So much, <laughs> so much Joe Pesci. Um, yeah, there's a heap. And honestly, it doesn't... I think there's sound alikes for uh, Mel... Um, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover as yeah. well. Like, yeah, it was, I think they they managed to get a good deal on Joe Pesci, <laughs> but I don't think they got a very good deal on the other ones. All right, so yeah. so that's Lethal Weapon. I just wanted to show it. I I don't feel that it's necessarily the worst, but I did want to show a picture of it. Yeah. Okay, here's RoboCop. 
Yeah. Just what just is going on here? Take a moment to here's another angle of RoboCop because literally I can't find a good picture of this piece of crap. Um, no, one, please, everyone, take better pictures of your pinball machines <laughs> if you got them. Like, there's there's not even a Captain toy Paul? on this that I can no, identify. Just spinners, spinners, and a spinners stand up targets and a ramp. What's that weird thing in the top left? Left, I don't like it's know. It's I get a clear shot on it, so we don't know. Yeah, it's something, but I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, but that art is God. What is wrong? RoboCop is so cool, mm. and can this and has not... amazing poster art and everything. And that looks like straight out of a coloring book. It really does. Hey, on the plus side, it'd be easy to restore the playfield. Right, it. just black, black and blue. Those are your black and blue. <laughs> easy. <laughs> so I mean, that's got it. It's going got that going for it. That's yeah, about it. lots of primary colors. Yeah. All right, what what was another choice that we have? Oh, The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Yeah, you might might be surprised to go. Oh, why is the Simpsons on the list? Well, because you haven't played it. Get past the fact that it's the Simpsons <laughs> and just look at it. Like, and this, I'll say this one. This particular playfield shot is of a one that's been really looked after and restored. Yeah, they rarely look this good. No, rarely. Like those powder coated ramps are always absolutely showing the middle and the well, and, and the and the like family trash. on the couch is usually just covered in dirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean that's a re that's a fixable problem, but everything else like it, this one suffers from terrible playfield wear. Like it, it's hard pressed to find a good one. But that aside, um, well, how did this settle? Jeez. <laughs> okay. So we we were split on these. There was a bit of a, a spread across. I went like as one of the ones that like I sort of settle on it was like Wait, monday night football hold on do it do i have what? something else to show though i think i have something else to show jared do just you? yeah i think you're right we are split between robocop and and simpsons but this was a hard one to settle on but I wait because there was a broad selection. there's also teenage oh. mutant ninja turtles <laughs> here's what uh -huh. look i love how this is the, hey let's just throw a plastic toy on there and call that something interesting um, Let, let's get the kenner toys figurines and just drill them into the play field. Let's put a piece of sandpaper as a spinner that looks like the nastiest pizza pizza you've ever eaten because literally the, it's supposed to be a vivid piece of pizza but any time I've ever seen this in the wild that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a mud pie. Yep. Um, yep. I Now my thing is I seem to think that Simpsons was worse than this so that's why this again goes into that lethal weapon territory where I don't have the clearest of memories. Um, and if I'm looking at it just visually, I'm like, oh, there's a split ramp on the left. There's a ramp on the left or on the right. You do have the spinner that, you know, flings your ball around. That It's got some interesting things. That doesn't yeah. have anything interesting going on. it. <laughs> Zero. No, it's not even anything in the way of a toy on there to no. bash. No. No, there's nothing there. Nothing there. No. So... Do we so, go yeah, with Simpsons okay. or do we go with RoboSlop? Oh, we go with the Simpsons. That's where we settled. I think Simpsons because it is so disappointing. Like, yeah, RoboCop, you walk up to it and immediately you're just like, nope. <laughs> yeah, Simpsons, you, you walk up and you go, oh, cool, Simpsons. And then you start playing it. This is it. colorful. This looks good. Yeah. And then you go, it's not. And this is daddy. You, you can tell up in the, uh, up the top there. They were stealing straight from Williams, like whirlwind era with the, uh, uh, oh yeah, the the lights that are on the the back glass there. Um, There's a reason for that. It's mm. because they stole the design of the boards. <laughs> <laughs> they literally copied the the Belly Williams System Eleven of that era, and they use it as their own. Yeah, uh, yep. out of East. Don't we Got hate em. you? Uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I think we're gonna call Simpsons, and especially if you, I think that's why people love Simpsons Pinball Party so much, because it's like, thank you, a good Simpsons, <laughs> right? Uh, it's like, oh, you actually understood the the the, the homework assignment. Okay, awesome. You got the brief. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's great in comparison. All right, what alphabetically comes after Data East? Uh, well, it'll be. Gottlieb. 
It is Gottlieb. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Righto, Gottlieb. So right in my wheelhouse here, except none of the games that are on my list. Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got um, Raven, 1986. Uh, Genesis, also 1986. Spring Break, 87. Bone Busters, Inc., 89. Gladiators in 93 and Waterworld in 95. And closing out the list is Barb Wire in 96. Yeah, yep. quite the list. Um, quite the list. I will say that when you, if you, <laughs> I looked at the flyer for Barb Wire and it was just like, boy, was that your last gasp? You didn't put anything into that thing. <laughs> you were just like, here's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. it's exactly that, isn't it? Gladiator. Oh, I guess we got Pamela Anderson. Um, yeah, mm. Gladiator. I've never been able to figure out any appeal to it. It's it's a weird. The theme is weird. How it's implemented is weird. The shots are weird. The whole table's weird. Um, yeah, because it was supposed to be a Legend of Zelda table. <laughs> and they and they lost the life they couldn't the license for it and they had to like uh switch to big muscly butted people that i guess hilarious um raven yeah. is what i consider the worst of the we're it's not even trying beings. we're just going to take a picture of a live action person in, on a set and make that our back glass and that's the theme but mm. really I mean, because they they had Wild Wings, which was their Top Gun ripoff, and Raven was uh, a female Rambo, and mm. it was like you could completely see what the influences were. Um, oh yeah, they were the B the B movie versions of all the latest brands. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just terrible. Okay, so this is the one I want to I want to just highlight. This isn't this isn't making it into our Jordanized selection of worst. But this is what I was talking about comparing Lady Luck and that art to... <laughs> Look at Spring this. Break. <laughs> oh. Um, you Again, there's your bad glass where it's just live Photoshopped. photos. It's not Photoshopped. It's just plain straight up photos of people. <laughs> there are actual people on there. There are actual people on there. It's real oh. photos. And then you go into this play field that I would be just full-on embarrassed to own. Um, I, I couldn't have this in my... <laughs> I couldn't have this in my house. And I, I'll tell you that there are some tournaments where they wouldn't accept this either because mm -hmm. of the fact that there's a topless... A, yeah. a concealed but topless woman on yeah. the play field. I wouldn't be able to offer it. No, as a tournament no. contender. Can you imagine yeah. what before before Zen was uh, finally put out non censored playfields? Can you imagine what they'd have to do to this? <laughs> you might as well just put her know. in a burka. <laughs> put just put a sh a, a big floppy shirt on her, yeah. <laughs> like a muumu. Give, give her a muumu. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. That's, okay. That's like, what is the significance of no dogs allowed? I don't. On the sign? Well, on the like, beach. I don't even know. California beaches don't allow dogs. Okay, right. Um, but, yo, ooh, it's got new automatic percentaging, continuous multi-ball action, and a multi-image back glass. <laughs> it's... That's a feature? A multi-image back glass. <laughs> because it's wow. got lots of pictures on it. <laughs> Thrilling. And an automatic and this is launcher. And this is Gottlieb Premiere where their, their alphanumeric screen was teeny tiny. And blue. And it was, yeah. It was, yeah. The This is the worst. Okay, so let's see what... it's not the worst. No, so here, here's our uh, first choice. Genesis! Oh, it, it, cannot, it cannot be anything other than this monstrosity. <laughs> um, um, Where to begin? What's... Where to begin? Well, like, you have to begin with that back glass. I'm sorry, yeah. that is, hands down, the worst back glass in all of pin, pinball. Just, yep. without a doubt. Yep, and it's renowned for it. It yeah. is, yeah. If you're doing a top ten worst back glasses, this is like, you don't even have to worry about number one. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Um, yep. The Pepto Bismol purple ramps. Hmm. That... Yeah, Pepto Bismol is the name I would oh. put it, not Bismo. <laughs> uh, it's just completely it's just... 
unappealing. And look how thin and cheap they look. Like, yeah, they just it looked like they will break at any moment. Yeah, um, yeah, and they never look like that either. Those are brand new ones. Yeah, and, uh, and that playfield looks like how you typically find it, though. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> dull, very... scuffed, not vivid at all. Yellow um, plastics. Yeah. yeah. Now, very much like some that. people have gotten mad at us in the past. <laughs> Saying mm. Genesis is a lot of fun to play. Who's the designer on this? Genesis. Uh, it is actually John Trudeau. Oh, again? Mm, yes. <laughs> so he was responsible for Bugs Bunny. Mm -hmm. He's also responsible for this. Mm. Interesting. Which would you prefer to own? Interesting. Uh, we didn't talk this. about who the uh, designers on Simpsons and Robocop were, did we? We didn't. Who, real um, quick, what were those? So Simpsons is Joe Kamakau and Ed Sabula, and also. The same for TMNT. Um, oh. Yeah, both the same. Interesting. I think there mm. were a third Can one on there. Can you see there. this theme? Right. Can you see a commonality of what's going on here with yeah. these tables? And so, we are not, we made these decisions after we actually looked at the designers. Yeah. We weren't targeting our designer yeah. here for the record. Like these just happen to be um, how they are. Now, again, we're talking about, you know, although it looks like you have a giant DMD area, it's again the teeny it's tiny. An, Alphanumerics. Little tiny gas plasma display. Itty bitty. Yep. Now, for the sake of our people that love this machine, I did find this image. This is yep. what a Genesis can look like. Clear ramps, yes. better trans light, LED lighting going on, a bright, vivid play field. Um, you know. This this looks... I'd be okay with. Like, this is really nice. But that, you have to pretty much change everything. Yeah, that this is this is much less embarrassing. Other than the fact that, what the hell is up with that apron? Is that the same on the? Oh, that apron's not much better. They just haven't. <laughs> they haven't put the thing on it. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. they got Funhouse in the background. You bust that thing open, people. Come on. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Put that thing on legs. Put that thing on legs. Okay. So Genesis. Uh, that was spring break, and then we have Waterworld. Waterworld. Look at this thing. Now, at first glance, I'm like, oh, our... I see wire forms. That looks interesting. And uh, mm. uh, and then I go and I can't tell what thing to do because this is the busiest play field that doesn't have flow for where you're going to be shooting. <laughs> yep. And that the big toy, the yep. thing the atoll. up the top there, I, I have actually put hands on this once okay and i cannot recall how the thing works but notably have a look at the hexagonal hole mm -hmm. the hexagonal sinkhole mm -hmm. just have um, just imagine for a moment how oval that would be now or how <laughs> rounded out that hexagonal hole would be it is just there's yeah there's a lot of weirdness happening here um uh, it's definitely a Gottlieb Premier era. Um, yeah. Like, it's got all the, the Gottlieb Premier hallmarks here. Like, absolutely. This one um, came out before uh, Stargate, I believe. Yeah, see, I I mean, we talked about this off, off air. Like, Stargate is, is a Gottlieb Premier that I would own. It would be the only one that I would own yeah. of the DMD era. But yeah. I would own one. Um, so what do we think? This one would not. Waterworld? Ooh, out of the two. Or... Ooh. Genesis, that's the worst. Oh, come on. Uh, it, <laughs> it's I'd not even a world. You what? I'd have Waterworld. I'd have Waterworld. Right. The, Honestly. It's not even... Genesis wins hands down as being the worst. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah. There's just yeah. next to no redeeming quality about it. No. It, even that shop one that looks really nice with the with the lovely lit plastic. Yes. It's still not as good. No. No. It's, it's refined hot garbage. The other one's just hot garbage. <laughs> Yeah, sorry everyone if you like it. I'm I played it enough times to know that it is hot garbage. <laughs> okay. Uh, so our next era would be Sega. 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 In somewhat distorted um <laughs> uh, Right, so we've got a few here. Uh we've got um Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, ninety five. Um, Batman Forever in 95, Space Jam 96, The X-Files 97, South Park 99, Harley Davidson 99. So for clarification, um, Stern did a Harley Davidson as well, 
but under the Sega brand, that was the first iteration of Harley Davidson um, in '99. So that's that's your six options there. Now, and I, I, I mean, I know that dreams. just off the top of my head, um, that uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein that that Frankenstein toy is god awful ugly. It's, oh, it's it is horrible. It's hideous. It is mm. hideous. Um, and its big selling point was the giant DMD. Way. Mm. Um, it wanted so badly to be Dracula. <laughs> and it did. And it it's and not. The 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 problem with that that toy is that for the ball to get up to it, it's actually it actually has to be it's got a VUK that feeds those those arms, and that's where you're supposed to actually lock the balls into. And it yeah. holds them and goes, yeet, Fling! and yeets the balls yeah. at you. <laughs> Which, of course, you know, from that height, is really good for the play field and plastics around it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's excellent. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just, it's one ramp. One ramp, a lot of pop bumpers. There's a couple of multi-balls in it, but really it's about the... Uh, it's uh, and everything every single time is uh, as it grinds at you and then shoot the Geneva hole I'm not ready I'm not ready go away yeah but it's yeah. not the worst though um, um, Batman Forever uh, is also just an ugly gross it's ugly pin. but I actually it's not a bad game to play it's not a bad game it's, it's actually not ugly. terrible I also hate yeah. that movie so um, it's not it's not a good movie no uh, what else is on that list uh, with Space Jam Space Jam. I'd rather yeah. have NBA. Actually, well, I would love NBA. I would. Are you kidding me? I'd... Not NBA Fast Break, but Stern NBA. Oh, it's even got the, exactly the same back. The the basketball yeah. hoop you got to Shack Attack into. from Gottlieb almost made it onto the list. By the way, um... Ooh, yeah, I can imagine why. It's not good. <laughs> um... It is not good. But uh, um, ultimately. What we, we settled on two, didn't we? We we did settle on two. The first one, uh, Harley David, oh, uh, Harley Davidson. Um, you played this enough times. Oh my god, I've had to play it so Kimball many times. Arcade oh. to know how repetitive this thing is. Like it is, it's so repetitive, and it's also just uh, okay. Playfield wise, it's like a figure eight. It's really awkward shooting Mm. um but then it is i'm not one to get offended by pinball machines but it is bordering on offensive in terms of how redneck crap trash it is yeah down from just the the it, I almost want to call it a Motley Crew table. I, I think that's the the closest I could like get the vibe. It's girls, girls, girls. They need. I'm surprised there's not a stripper pull on this thing. It is so yeah, right. cliche, so just obnoxious. Um, it's it gives I'm no so fe- it gives no fear a run for its money is. in terms of of just cringe factor on branding. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's there's nothing good about it. Uh, but then, <laughs> but then, but then there's South Park. Uh, yeah, which, to be fair, the first couple of times you play it, you laugh and you go, "Oh, fun! Mm. This is South Park! Hooray!" And then you play it some more, and you go, "Wow! Can they use that call out any more times?" And yeah. is there any other shot that I can actually shoot? Because this thing is boring. <laughs> it's just Kenny and that right ramp, and mm. and just try and get your multi ball and get some points, and then have enough points to get off the table. Uh, yeah. yeah, this yeah. is it. It could have been so much more. And Stern, uh, not Stern, Zen, absolutely does mm. South Park better than this. Oh, 100 percent. Um, Without any doubt, yeah. Um, so this is not good choice. South Park choice out of the two of them, Harley. So between which do you Harley hate more? Davidson and South Park? Jeez, <laughs> um, it's a real Sophie's choice uh, here. <laughs> it is really is Sophie's choice. Um, I'd have to say it's just Harley Davidson for me. I, I hate I, it the most. I agree. I hate everything about it. 
Um, yep. South Park, I at least like the theme. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the theme, I can put up with the call-outs being repetitive. Harley uh, just is... Just tune them out. Just... This is just offensive. And the amount of times you enter into video mode on this tape oh is just... Oh, my God. And it's it's a direct rip-off of um, the, the video Get mode away. in... Um, uh, well, yes, but it's isometric. True. And it is exactly the same video mode as in Guns N' Roses. Oh. <laughs> except with people in it. Where they're going, where you're, where you're basically hitting, pe- hitting people on a highway. Yeah. That's good, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, just get in the bin, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Next up. We are... Do- Whoa, geez, where are we now? Um, we're hold on. Stern? I'm, I'm going to click through and... Yes, we're in Stern. Okay, so this is the second of the, the second last oh. category that we've got, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second to last. Yeah, go ahead. Second to last category. So of Stern, um, we've got High Roller Casino, which was 2001. Austin Powers, also 2001. Indiana Jones, 2008. CSI, 2008. 24, 2008. That's three in 2008 there. And then closing the list. Year. No, Big Buck Hunter closes us out at 2010. Okay, so this one was not difficult for us to determine. No, the... I will say that like 24 and CSI, that's just a terrible choice for a pinball team. Mm. Um, 24, the play field is just nothing but box after box of inserts. It's like... yeah. And the whole crux of 24 was doing something in real time. I don't think that's the crux of the game. I don't know. Uh, no. I, I think I've literally have put one quarter in it, and that's the end of it. Same, CSI, again, just not a good theme for something that you want to play, and it's kind of ugly to boot. Um, yeah. And if then both, neither of them are pretty tables. And those are Steve Ritchie and Pat Lawler tables, by the way. <laughs> Which is wild, wild, a- absolutely wild. Uh, um, okay, what else? What was the uh, the the first one on the list? Uh, oh, High Roller Casino. Um, high, high Roller Casino. It's just a boring casino theme. Um, yeah, and it and it ha- it features at that time Stern loved their three panel, three color display LED thing that was thing. on Monopoly and, was... and um, Simpsons. Uh, Simpsons. Simpsons had it? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Simpsons did actually have it. Um, but Monopoly yeah. and uh, oh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Um, Ripley's. Oh, Ripley's, and, yeah. And uh, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Mm-hmm. Like, it was mandatory. It was, it was almost like, a, hey, we developed this thing. You got to use it. Because remember, this is Stern hanging on for dear life. They are the yeah. last pinball company out there. And they, they were are, barely making ends meet. Like they I were mean, struggle town. The number of exposed wires that you could see on a play field or on a table was insane. Um, yeah, that wherever they could pinch, a, cut corners, they could cut corners. Um, so that's the era but, of that. And so you go from high roller casino to all of a sudden, hey, maybe they've turned a corner because they're going to start doing licensed things. And what's yeah, the first like, oh, thing? Well, that they license well, I don't know if it's the first thing they licensed, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Austin I'll tell Powers. you what, I I boy, <laughs> there's like a this has not aged well. No. If you run into one of these in an arcade, and you decide to put like some money in it, which I would strongly recommend you don't, um, it is really hard to listen to um and it is directly like everything is ripped right out of that first movie yeah and it is wet yeah it's really hard to watch and see how dull that play field is mm-hmm. like see how matte that play field looks. boy it looks like jurassic park home edition <laughs> it does but i think i think jurassic parks is definitely better <laughs> But I mean, just look at like it even has the the penis drill on it. Look at it, like on the right hand ramp, the drill that gets mistaken for the the oh the, yeah know, the Johnson yeah and you know that five 
that two minute session. Well, and it looks like the they recycled the toilet from uh, South Park and put it on there. Oh, the toilet? No, it's slightly smaller. But <laughs> I yeah, know, basically. But you know what I mean. Um, yeah. You know, it's, where, hey, did, it's where this machine should get into. It did, should just did, suck itself right into Did that Austin toilet. Powers just... influence uh, Lord of the Rings getting a, uh, a, a, a target at the back? Or I don't know which came first. A magnet sucker? Yeah, this one, I think. Yeah, um, so we, it, it basically it gave it gave us that, but that's about it. It's just a, it's yeah, a god-awful game. ugly table. The call-outs get annoying. The music will drive you up a freaking wall. Uh, oh, yeah. Their excuse for toys is literally, you know, like they went to the toy aisle and found some action figures and stuck them on to the machine. Yep. Yep. Um, They're, oh, man. Yeah. This is, it's really, this is the low point of this era. <laughs> um, and, I mean, we've got, I mean, CSI and 24 are in there, too. Let's not be. True, know, because that, this is also the whole Photoshop central, oh, which this is the, brings us to our next one. Ooh, Mick on a stick. Welcome Look to Photoshop. This, this is, yeah, wow. I I hate to say it, but I feel like Zen went, ooh, cardboard cutout. What a good idea. <laughs> and looked at this and went, okay, let's yeah. do that. Because <laughs> it's just cardboard cutout Jeez. city. <laughs> it's and and again, Photoshop city. Um, you know, fortunately, they learned their lesson with the giant tongue on Kiss and actually had the ball roll down it, whereas here it's just there. Um, yeah, but, yeah. I don't even know. I I know I've played this. It's completely unmemorable. I don't know what the music situation is with this. I don't know. Oh, if you I wouldn't change, be licensed, so I don't think. I don't know if you can change songs or if there's actual songs in it. I don't. I really don't know because um, that Mick target is enough to make me walk up and go, nope. And then walk away. Yep. He's, <laughs> he can't even... The thing is, you can't even... It doesn't stow anywhere. Like, you know, no. the Dracula target right. on Monster, Monster Bash. Bash. It mm-hmm. goes up to the side and gets out of the way. This thing is just there blocking your shots. Yeah. What are they thinking? It's horrible. <laughs> like, but not as horrible as Austin Powers. No. Um, the, the Austin Powers is hands down the winner. When we started this mm. conversation, it started because of Austin Powers. Yeah, we go, you know, oh, geez, wasn't Austin Powers the worst pinball of this The year? worst. Oh, what are the other ones that could be in yeah. this list? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, I think Austin Powers and and Genesis are in a tie for worst period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd, so. I'd only, I would only have, if we had to, let, let's do a, a quick poll. Okay. Between Austin Powers and Genesis, what would you have? Which would I own? Yeah, which would you... Oh, sorry, which is the worst? The uh, worst. Well, I'm just saying, if if it's the... would you, If you had to have one in your house, and mm. and you had to turn it on and let it sit there in a track mode, I'm going Genesis. <laughs> I'm going I'm going Genesis, but I'm going that nicely done up one. Yes, yes. Because I, I do not want to Genesis. listen to the Austin Powers attract mode. No. It's just no, and and it's uh, again, it is a Genesis is an ugly table, mm. but it's not garishly just, ugly. Austin yeah. Powers is just freaking ugly. Every, yeah, I mean, we don't, we didn't even show what the cabinet art looks like. Um, so no. yeah, um, it's okay, really not something you want to see in the house. Let's move on right. to last category. What was what last wound up category. being our hardest to pick from? category this was a really tough one and so, i want to see how you'll go who are actually watching this what you reckon is the worst out here because geez it was this took me the longest the other ones were cut and dry for me i had a hard easy. time coming up with this list because freaking mm. williams was killing it yeah um, they were doing good work they were doing a very good work um everything that we talk about on this i wouldn't be opposed to if it if it, if I had to own it, I wouldn't be like, oh man, that's I, yeah. <laughs> I, so let's let's reveal the list. The, the list is yes. starting in 1986, um, Road Kings. Mm-hmm. Then we move swiftly to 87, where we have Fire. Mm-hmm. Then also in 87, we have Millionaire. Mm-hmm. We jump to 91 with Hurricane, and then rounding out the list, we have Star Wars Episode One at 99. 1999. Yeah, I had to put that in there because I think it's it's 
it is what killed Pinball. <laughs> it's it is well unfortunately yeah. Revenge from Mars came afterwards and Revenge from Mars is better. It's not mm. great. It's better. Um It's better. But I personally just hate not seeing the back half of the playfield. It it, mm. it just feels like you're playing on such a short limited small space. Um it really bothers me. Uh, I enjoyed the heck out of it when it, when both of those titles came out. I got to play them. I really enjoyed playing them. Um, just they were for the time they were really novel games, mm-hmm. like really groundbreaking stuff. Um, but yeah, all they, right. Not so good now, what made right. the list? Okay, so starting with fire, fire. The arcade that I worked in, uh, this was one of the three machines that they had when I first started there. It was mm. this, Roller Games, and Whirlwind. Mm. Um, I put my quarters into Whirlwind and Roller Games. This is the only machine yes. that I had keys to because the amount of times the ball got stuck, and so we were constantly having to slide the play field off to get the ball unstuck. And right. so I could put in as many credits as I wanted, and I just didn't. <laughs> you just did not want to, because by the end of your shift, you were sick and tired of this game. Well, Because you it, had to have the glass off it so many times. It is... It has no flow. None. I, no. I don't even think there's an orbit on this. It is like... No, everything is ramps. Everything's ramps and, are the orbit. It's ramps and dead ends. Those ramps are dead ends. Mm. And then the ball just comes right back down. Um, it has this really annoying thing and old timey music playing. The yeah. building molds on the side are, they're not Bugs Bunny birthday bash bad, but they're verging on it. Um, mm. It's a very busy play field. Again, it doesn't, your eye doesn't get directed anywhere. So no. I don't care for that. Um, it's, it's kind of boring. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's just really just there. Um, yeah. And the fact that they came out with a champagne edition shows that it was popular. <laughs> mm. um, yeah. But, you know. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, it's not pretty. No, I don't have good vibes with this one. Uh, our next one, our next choice is not that. <laughs> no. I gotta no, hit the next choice. I got to hit the right button here. There we go. It's Millionaire. millionaire. Uh, Look at it. Boy. Could you get more 80s? This is a System this? 11, folks. This is System yeah. 11. But it is... Well, nothing about it... Like, that back glass and with the giant dollar signs, it... <laughs> I look at it today it and it might as well just be called Trump the Pinball. Um, <laughs> it's that <laughs> terrible looking. It's just yeah. garish and all the wrong things of what you ex- want from a millionaire. You know what I mean? Uh, the yeah. lifestyle. It's. I don't. I don't know really what's going on. Here's a here, better play field. What a... Yeah, Be- better. Better in that we can see it. I'm curious um, to know who which came first, uh, teed off or this. Did you know who stole the idea? Oh, who stole the mechanism? Yes. Oh. Uh, I think T... No, I think this would have because teed off was a DMD. This was first. This was yep. first. This yeah. was first. In fact, actually, not technically. Uh, there was a EM that we played recently uh, at oh. BPAC that had that mechanism on it. So this okay. mechanism has been around for a while. But Hey, who's our designer um, on this? Okay, so Millionaire is Jerry Armstrong. Huh? Okay. Who? Hmm. Don't know. But Fire, Barry Alsler. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you can see that there is a lock ball mechanism on both the left and the right. Oh yeah, there is too. Um, so there's a three ball, multi ball, I'd imagine. Th- I'm, I'm sure there is. There is locking, um, looking something, something. I can see instructions broadly on there. Yeah. And there's stuff to shoot on it, but there's I just stuff. it doesn't really compel me to. No, and I. I... I can't tell if it's the layout or the theming that just turns me more off. Um, mm. I I really don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about this at all. 
but I I know that if what was <laughs> let's go back to that picture, the uh, of millionaire. What's next to it? Um, uh, arena. Well, that's a Gottlieb arena. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't know about that. Um... Yeah. No. But I don't know. <laughs> it's probably be more fun than this. <laughs> so, yeah. what do you think? Would you rather play fire or would you rather play millionaire? Oh. I... Jeez, this is like a tough one as well, but I don't know. I've played Fire, so mm-hmm. I know what it plays like. Um, I've not played this before, but this would be a good transition from like early Solid State to something more modern. So I I, I wouldn't want Fire. I just hate the theme. It looks gross. i go with Millionaire. I think I would go with Fire. Would you go with Fire? Just because I know what fire looks like. Um, again, I can't stand the look of this. A millionaire just looks like trash. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I can't say how it plays. And that's the hard thing. Um, I know yeah. I've put a quarter into this, but I, I, it's, it, it did not leave an impression in me that I would want that clearly that I wanted to play it again. Um, I've put many a quarter, or I shouldn't say many a quarter. I've pumped. The, button, the credit button many a time on fire and actually played it. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think for me, a millionaire would be the one that I am going to go with worst. But mm. it's it's a coin toss. It is really a coin toss. Yeah. It's a coin toss. Ah, yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are our uh, our worst. What uh, For summary, Jared, what do we wind up picking as our worst of each category? All right, so we'll start from the top of my list here. Uh, for Data East, we chose The Simpsons, mm-hmm. and we chose um, Bugs Bunny mm, Birthday Bash for Bali. Yep, yeah, Bugs Bunny Birthday Bash. Genesis for Gali. Uh And it was Harley Davidson for Sega. Sega. Austin Powers for and, Stern. Yep. And uh, Genesis for Gottlieb, we said that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and then Millionaire for Williams. Well, wait, yes. excuse me. I said Millionaire. We'll split. Yeah, we're split on that one. You said Fire. So yeah. if you want to have the worst playroom, now you know what machines and, to put in a row. Go and buy them. Go and buy them. Yeah. And then if you buy- want no one to come and play pinball at your place, <laughs> come and just go and buy all those. Uh, I'll you, tell you what, it, it, you'll be able to get them cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, Potentially. So if you wanted a cheap starter pinball collection, you could use this as a buying list. I mean, but I, I we wouldn't. say cheap, and then I'm sure that you can go on, you know, pin side and find out how much they sell for and go, what? Uh, so <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But mm. hopefully, you all enjoyed that. Um, we enjoyed uh, coming up with that list. Uh, we do appreciate all the questions that you guys uh, put in the comments for us to ask Mel. Um, we mm. have uh, compiled our list already, so uh, no need to uh, ask any more. Uh, we basically have our fill of what we're going to be uh, talking to him about. So, yep, uh, But we definitely final. appreciate um, you guys uh, throwing down some suggestions and uh, questions that you're going to have for Mel. Um, yep. Yep. Next time we pop on here, you should have been able to get the new latest Pinball M table, which yes. is uh, Camp Blood something. It's Friday the 13th, and they didn't get the license. That's all I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I shouldn't say I know. I don't know that. We're going to ask Mel that. It's Friday the 13th, people. Yeah. Something fell through. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about it. There's too many There's too many things that are similar. Um uh, so that will have come out uh, over on the Ad Games front. Uh, they have updated all of the Zen tables for latency. They play fantastic now. Their sound oh, is better because awesome. they balance the sound to match all of uh, Magic Pixels games. So you don't have to worry oh, about awesome. flinging up to your volume button to turn up or down based on what you last played. Um, they even improved the graphics a little bit on some of the uh, Zen tables. Um, with their optimization, they were able to increase certain aspects of them. Um, so yep. they're they're playing really nice now. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. The the fun thing though, Jared, mm. 
What is, what is it we've always said about Creature from the Black Lagoon? Uh, what haven't we said about it? Um, that no two creature tables play the same. Oh, correct. Yeah. Well, that tradition yeah. continues. <laughs> really? Because so the one in People of <laughs> does not play the same as the one in At Games. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped. They dropped Monster Bash and a creature in a pack together for At Games, and mm. Monster Bash plays fantastic. It's fun. It plays and it yep. plays the same way as what you play in Pinball FX. Yep. And then there's Creature where a full plunge does not send the ball all the way around to the left flipper. It can't huh? quite clear the ramp. You can sometimes get it to clear and get and make it over, but usually it just drops in the inlanes up on top. Um, for the skill shot, you can't move the light. Oh, Whereas can't? in what? Pinball FX, you can. Um, when the ball drops from the pop bumpers down the right side, usually, and this is a pretty much every table that I know of, it, you can do a dead pass over to the left flipper. Yes, you can. This one, it barely has any bounce, and you have to really quickly flip the left flipper to keep the ball in play. Well, okay. That's um, it's There's some different. dead flipper rubber going on on this thing. Uh, so it yeah. adds a new wrinkle into your strategy of playing playing on it um does it what geez you can't even get like you can't get a sequential film oh, you no you can can't i've gotten it well, with times. a lot of extra with a lot of extra wood chopping you can yeah but yeah that's know. the problem is so, that you got it you got to hit that kiss target now four times and that's not a fun target yeah to hit. so just off the plant and you get yeah. it immediately yeah yeah um so uh that being said i real quickly got the number one score on it and then i've since been bumped off of it um but it was like all my old ways of playing came back to me. <laughs> and it, that was oh, kind of yeah. like, okay, I just have to be weary of, you know, I, I got to remember, don't do the dead pass because that's not going to function. Um, yep. But I, yeah, I really did have just a laugh. I was like, are you kidding me? It doesn't even play the same as pinball effects. As pinball effects. And they're, it's zen. It was like, what is going on? This is just absolutely astounding. amazing, right? Um, the only yep. thing that Monster Bash has a problem with is the scoop eject sometimes mm. goes straight down the middle. Like, unsavable. Oh. Just oh. right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen that happen on real tables, too, plenty yeah. of times. Yeah. Um, but the problem but is, is when you... It shouldn't The problem that. is when you've, you know, just started the mode, you know, because you had Dracula and Mummy lit, and it goes... Mm. And right down the middle. And you, know, you like, lose all your points there. You're like, just like, are oh. you kidding me? Come on. Um, enough people yeah, have complained about fresh. that. I'm pretty sure Zen's going to have to uh, go in there and Patch tweak that. something. And Well, yep. and here's the thing. I don't even know if it's Zen that will do it or if it's at games. Um, oh, it would be Zen because they're the software provider. They are the platform. software provider. But there are certain aspects that I know that... Uh, that at games handles mm. uh and i think it has to do with their hardware so that's probably why the plunge doesn't plunge like it should because oh, um, it doesn't it's not registering a full like they back. They, they yeah they they've mm. got too much of a dead zone in the yeah in the plunger yeah, yeah so i think that and, sounds about right actually yeah so i don't know and i don't I, I wouldn't know why the scoop would be on monster bash that they would have anything to do with that so i don't know i wouldn't no. hopefully that'll get uh, that'll get passed along to zen and they'll um and they'll get on that and fix it but i did just want to uh point that out um also by the next time we talk to you i'll know what playing chucky and the thing on at games is like because those are coming next that's going to be really interesting i'm it's looking gonna forward very, to that i'm very curious mm. to see uh, what the parental lock does oh, yeah. and all that. And and how they've tweaked it, yeah. That's yeah. going to be really... You're going to maybe think about doing a video separate on that? Nah, I'll just talk here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I, I've, I had a video all made up about my Costco trip, and then after I got done editing it and watching it, I went, eh. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. All right. So, all right, well, cool. So that's uh, what you all got to look forward to. Lots of stuff coming up. Uh, things for us to talk about, as usual, though, is what Jared loves to talk about. Stuff and things. Until then, folks. Mm. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>